Welcome to this video on adding a policy to your site. Filtering policies are used to block threats like crypto mining, malware, phishing, and other attacks that take advantage of vulnerabilities on your network. Policies also allow you to censor content on your network. You can block categories of content like adult content, gambling, weapons, and many more. In this video, I'll be taking you through the process of adding a filtering policy to your network. I assume you have already added a site to your DNS filter dashboard. If you haven't, you can still follow along with the video and add the policy to a site later on. Adding a filtering policy on the dashboard is fast and easy. To begin, click on the policies link on the side menu. This automatically takes you to the filters page where all the filtering policies you have defined are listed. Now click the add button to begin the process of adding a new threat protection and content filtering policy. The first step to adding a policy is to enter a name for the policy. For this demo, I'll call this policy demo policy one. Click create to save the policy name. Now that the policy is saved, you now have access to different configuration options. The categories tab allows you to block categories of unwanted content on your network. Notice that as I click the categories I want to block, the background turns red. All the categories in gray backgrounds are allowed by default, while the red ones are blocked. The threat section helps protect you against common cybersecurity threats. Botnets used in launching distributed denial of service attacks and also malware and phishing attacks are amongst the threats you can block. New domains refers to newly registered domains. These are any domains under 30 days old. They are commonly used and then disposed of quickly in a lot of cybersecurity attacks. So, it is best practice to block this as a large portion of zero-day threats are brand new domains. Honestly, I will advise that you select every item on this list to ensure that you are optimally protected against threats. Do note that any changes you make to your policy settings are automatically saved. Other sections in your policy settings include Safe Search, which enables you to moderate content on search engines, Allow List and Block List sections, allow you type in specific domains or upload a CSV file of domains to either block or allow. For example, you might decide to allow a domain that falls under the new domains category that you vetted and determined is not a threat. Lastly, we have the Advanced tab that allows you to perform, as you've guessed, advanced functions. These advanced functions include setting alternate DNS servers for some of the machines on your network. There are also extra settings for experimental configurations. Please be advised that these features may impact the way some websites work or in some cases delay access to a website if it has never been seen before by our scanners. Now that we have the policy defined, let's add it to a site. Click on the policy slash schedule column of your site. On the drop down that appears, Select the policy you just created. This selection is automatically saved. Your site will now be protected according to the policy you have selected. Do note that policies can take up to 15 minutes before they take effect across all nodes on your network. But in most cases, you will see the changes applied instantly. To examine your policy settings on any host on your network, you can visit debug.dnsfilter.com on any web browser. And there you have it. Your threat protection and content filtering policy is now up and running.